Honey, 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 honey. New from Urban Decay, part of the Naked Collection, the Honey Palette. <gasps> mm. So that is what we are going to be doing today on the Sloan series, a look with this palette. Make sure that you are subscribed to Beauty IQ so you never miss an episode and that you are following me, Sloan QVC, on Instagram. I love the embossment on the packaging. Love the gold. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Urban Decay does such a good job of having a really good range of neutrals and then the perfect accent colors for the palette that they've created. So for this honey palette, there's a ton of warm tones. Obviously some honey shades, some bronze shades. There's some purples down here at the end. Then you still have enough shades to help carry you through the day. I'm going to swatch the colors for you guys on my arm because it's nice to see the colors on skin. The first shade is Flyby, and I'm not sure if this will show up because it is so light. Oh, yep, see that's the pigment in Urban Decay. Next, I have Sweet. Now this shade is a cool tone neutral in the palette. The shade Swarm is gorgeous. It has a bit of orange to it. It looks slightly burnt, really, really pretty. Next, I'm going to take Amber, which is a beautiful shimmer shade. <laughs> I can tell, yeah, lots of pigment to amber. What I love about the Urban Decay Shimmer Shades is they aren't toppers, they are shimmer enough on their own. I'm running out of fingers, but next I'm gonna take Keeper, which is similar to Swarm, but just a little bit darker. Next is Golden. Wow. Yep, that's Golden. Next we have Honey. This is the shade I am the most excited about. Look at that on my pinky. <gasps> yes. Next we have Queen. This has some brown in it. It looks like it has a bit of green too. Yes. Ah, oh, love this. Love, 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 love. After Honey is a really nice brown called Hive. I can already tell I'm going to use that to help contour my eye and then I have drip which is an even darker brown see these are the type of shades that are just good to own HBIC Ooh, this is almost like a rose gold beautiful shimmer the shimmers are so smooth I'm running out of arm space and then next is sting and this has a this looks like a deep purple brown How's my swatch? Can, can you see it okay? I like swatching because I can see the way that the colors look on skin, which actually changed what I was gonna do with my eyes. I'm using the brush that comes with the palette, I'm going to start by taking the shade Keeper all over my lid. Really pretty shade. Next, I'm gonna take the taper side of the small end of the brush into the shade Drip and help to define my crease. I know that I'm going to have to go back over my crease after I put on some shimmer. So it's okay if it's not too blended right now. I'm gonna take that drip shade and take it under my eye as well. I just went a little bit under my eye to help map out where I'm gonna take the color and the eye shape that I'm creating. Next, I'm gonna take the shimmer shade Honey and put that in the inner corner of my eye. I'm 
Now I'm gonna take the HBIC shimmer shade, which is slightly darker for the outer corner. No, I just wanna take the shade Swarm and just go pretty high up with it. Now things are gonna get a little wild because I'm gonna take the honey shade, this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gold, and tap it to the center. So yes, I have three different shimmers on my eyes. Okay, this looks so fun. I'm creating a sunset eye. I'm going back in with the amber shade for the inner corner just to really help that pop. I've only lined with shadow the middle and outer ends of my lower lash line. Since I have so much shadow on top, I do need to balance it with some lower shadow, but I don't wanna cover the entire thing. Only because these colors are still light that it doesn't look too heavy. I do think that this look needs a bit of black, a little bit of a wing. I also have a full winged eyeliner tutorial that I will link to. I want my wing to be small because I don't want to cover this really pretty shadow. Yeah, I needed that. I am just so happy with this look, with this shadow. Maybe I shouldn't scream like that. My audio just spiked. Okay, time for some mascara to just, ooh, make this really pop. I'm going to use Big Ego from Tarte. I've been really into this mascara recently. See, look at the difference. It's like this eye is ready and this eye is just, she's on her way there. I just want to use a little lip liner. I love this one from Becca because the shade's really close to my natural lip color. And then topping off my lips with a little Sarah Hap lip slip. I want my lips to look nice and natural. Little shine. I adore this palette from Urban Decay. I'm going to a wedding this weekend and I'm definitely going to bring this with me. It's just beautiful. The colors are very flattering, easy to work with. I, I didn't even talk much about the formula because it's just such a given with Urban Decay products that the formula is absolutely flawless, highly pigmented, and everything is just super smooth. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Make sure that you are subscribed to Beauty IQ. Next week, I have the most fun episode coming up with Mally and RuPaul. Mwah! Okay, I will see you next Wednesday on the Sloan series.